How you doing? How you doing? Today it is day number 10 of the thousand... Hey, me, it's okay. Lay down. He gets stressed when I start talking on the microphone. So, fair warning to everybody. Um, things may get a little corny today. I'm going to be telling you a story about me and my wife and how we met. Um, and just kind of talking about her. You going to go? Okay. You got this. Okay. And just kind of talking about how much I love her. So, if uh, you're not into that, totally get it. But you may want to jump ship now uh, and save yourself some time. The first time I ever met my wife, Alyssa, I was 19 and she was 17. Uh, those days are a little foggy, to be honest. We would leave this day with a deep and mutual dislike for one another that would last for several years. I was introduced to her because I was dating her best friend at the time. I knew it was important for us to meet. Best friends can make or break a relationship, so I needed to do everything I could to impress this girl. She had just broken up with her boyfriend and was emotionally fragile, so why my girlfriend at the time thought seeing us together as a happy couple would make her feel better, I'll never know. But nonetheless, we headed to our local Southwest Saloon and got a seat. Things went well for the first half hour or so. We were laughing and joking, and everyone seemed to be having a good time. As a way to cheer her up and unbeknownst to the two ladies I was with, I had told the waitress that it was Alyssa's birthday, and I bought a dessert for her uh, for them to do the, uh, you know, walk out in a line clapping and singing for her. Just as a way to kind of break the ice cheer up. It wasn't her birthday. They were just going to come out and, and do their little restaurant thingy with the sparklers or whatever. Um, and so I paid for the dessert, and I sat with a sense of anticipation at the table, finishing my meal. And this is where everything went sideways. Me and Alyssa remember the next couple minutes very differently. According to her, I was being an asshole. According to me, she was being a big meanie. But this is my channel, and if she wants to tell you her version of the story, then she can start her own. But for now, we're going to go with mine. And, um, you know, in the future... If she makes a video and she posts it, then I will. I'll link it below. Regardless of who was in the wrong, the outcome was the same. And I don't really remember the conversation leading up to the final moment. But the last thing I said was, why would we take relationship advice from you when you've just broken up with your boyfriend? Let me tell you guys, that was the wrong thing to say. So maybe just avoid it altogether and learn from my mistake there. However, I did feel justified in saying it. And looking back, my only regret is that I didn't think of something funnier. Once I noticed no one was talking any longer, I got up to go to the bathroom. Which was merely an excuse to go out and intercept the happy train that was on its way to our table. Singing the praises of, of this young lady I just insulted. So basically there was like a corner here. I came around the corner. They were literally all lined up along the wall there. I came around the corner, the candle was like literally this far from my face, I went, Whew. you know what, can I just get the check? After a very awkward and silent ride home, me and Alyssa parted ways and did not speak again for uh, several years. So it would be uh, at least two or three years before we ran into each other again. I was at my friend's house, she and her, one of her friends came over. I can honestly say when she walked through the door... She was the second most beautiful woman I had ever seen in my life. The first, of course, being Mary Tyler Moore from her 1970s self-titled sitcom, who I had, for some reason, been infatuated with since I was nine. And still am. Mary, I know that you passed. I still love you. Back to me and Alyssa, even though we didn't discuss it, we both seemed to agree that we would just completely ignore the first meeting. Um... I am sure my willingness to ignore it had nothing to do with her breathtaking beauty and everything to do with me just embodying the spirit of forgiveness. For this next part, just I want you to keep in mind that I am the uh, least smooth, the least suave, the worst flirter that you have ever met in your entire life. I have absolutely zero game. Riz, as the kids call it. And even asking a girl out on a date is enough to send me into cardiac arrest. But Alyssa had a face worth dying for. And so I sent her a Facebook message. The next few weeks are a bit of a blur. I invited her to a movie. 
Alice in Wonderland 3D, in case you're curious. True to my previous statement, I panicked when it was time to pay. I didn't write this out, but basically what happened was we got up to the counter and I uh, went to reach my wallet and she was being kind of polite or whatever. And she was like, oh, no, it's fine. I'll take care of mine. And I said, oh, I know. I was just going to pay for them both with my card and then you could give me cash later. Just trying to cover up for the fact that I wasn't even sure if she knew that we were on a date at this point and I was panicking. I spent the entire runtime of the movie trying to work up the courage to hold her hand. I never did. And the date ended with me bringing her to an ATM so she could pull out cash to reimburse me for her ticket and her share of the popcorn. That's a, This is a true story, by the way. So, um... You know, if you are struggling with your romantic relationship, just know that anything is possible. <laughs> with my track record, I considered this date a resounding success. And a few days later, I invited her to the beach. Fast forward six months and we decided to move in together. That's what it felt like too, the fast forward. Anyone who's been in love, I'm sure knows what I'm talking about. But there's something about those first months that's just euphoric. And it completely clouds your judgment. It completely clouds everything. It overtakes uh, your whole life. You know, and you never felt more happy. Those, like, early months, you know, of being in love are just, like, the best feeling in the world. And now it's been 13 years and two kids, and I'm still in love with her. Every day I wake up and I wonder how I managed to land such an amazing woman. And to this day, I still don't know. I'd be lying if I said the day-to-day -day stress of life doesn't sometimes get in the way. I'd be lying if I said we never fight. I'd be lying if I said... I was always a great husband. But no matter what happens, when I wake up and she's there, I know I made the right choice when I sent her that Facebook message. And I think she feels the same way. I am not a smart man, but I do occasionally make smart decisions. And Alyssa is proof of that. She's not going to see this. Uh, I don't like her watching my videos. But, Alyssa, if I'm dead, and I died in some terrible, tragic accident, and you're on here looking for something to um, you know, play at the funeral or whatever... I just want to tell you how much I love you and how much you mean to me. You are the best decision I ever made. And also, if you could, use the push-up challenge video so that way I look jacked in front of everybody. It's funny because in doing this challenge, I sometimes have an idea going into a piece. Like, I had an idea of the direction that this, this piece was going to go. And it kind of took on a life of its own and went in a completely different direction, which is kind of interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. And so it's kind of cool getting surprised by your own work sometimes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're in the New Hampshire area and you would like to collaborate, please feel free to reach out. If you are in the New Hampshire area and you have a wedding or event that you would like to shoot, uh, please let me know because I am a professional videographer. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. If you have a cool... Uh, falling in love story please throw it down below in the comments so i can see it and um i hope you guys all have a great night Mwah! bye